This guy was asking me about fasting this morning, and I think that's a good idea to understand fasting because that's really the top of the mountain in detoxification. Fasting has always been the universal way. Animals still do it today. When they're sick, they don't they don't get up and run off, and they don't they don't uh, they don't move. And I think it's important to understand why that is and why rest is very important in health. When you look at the adrenal glands and you understand that they're dealing with this autonomic nervous system that invades your body and it makes you able to walk and run and uh, move your bowels and breathe and heart pump, you start to realize how important that is and how important it is to have healthy adrenals. So when, when, when you really want to have more activity, you understand that takes energy. So the body has to redirect its energy from digestion, from elimination, from all these other parts, the body has to, it has to grab its energy, especially if you're running hard or whatever you're doing. So in the adrenal glands, though, you'll see the increase of norepinephrine and epinephrine. I think I talked about this before, but forgive me if I, I have. But that increases, that dilates the vascular system, bronchioles, uh, it, it gives you more oxygen, more blood flow, increases the thyroid and heart rate. So you really start seeing that activity and the energy move to activity and muscles. But it shuts down acetylcholine and dopamine, which means it shuts down kidney function and bowel function because the redirection of energies to muscles and blood flow and oxygenation. So when you're at rest, the opposite happens. The dopamine, and, I mean the norepinephrine, epinephrine go down. The dopamines and acetylcholines go up. That increases kidney elimination and, and uh, bowel elimination. That's why under stress, you're pumping that epinephrine or norepinephrine, but you're losing the, the bowel performance and the kidney performance. So fasting is a time to, to shift that and to allow the relaxation and the improved elimination. Fasting is always a water experience, and natural hygienic people really had some nice fasting clinics. Well, I generally don't fast people on water anymore because of the nature of their lymph systems and what I'm facing here. We, most of our clients come here with cancer or some serious degenerative condition that we, we need that chemistry in those fruits. I think uh, mono fruit fasting is as high as you really need to go. That's why we're a grape freaks here. We had a famous model do th uh, 43 days grapes and lemons combination and no more lung or bone cancer left. And so we have her uh, testimony there. And so these are all observed cases by the medical profession. Uh, so pretty cool stuff. Uh, grapes and, and, and the Stanley Burroughs Master Cleanser, those are the two popular ones I use here. I love grapes. Uh, you know, you always play with that. I used to play with how long can I go. Sometimes I could only go three or five days. Other times I could go 40. It just, it's just what you're going through emotionally and everything else and how much self-discipline you have there. But when you go on these longer grape fasts or longer mono fruit fasts, you want to break it with adding more fruit for a day or two and then add a salad for a, a day or two and then you can go down a little further. You would never want to break it with uh, too much cooked food or anything like that. I remember uh, Bernard McFadden broke it with boiled potatoes and I think, wasn't that his last fast? I think it killed the guy, but you know what, you, 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 you want to you wanna, uh, build up to one and build down to one if it's a long-term fast. 
If you're already a raw foodist, you're right there almost anyway. Just stop the salads for a couple days, go all fruit, and then just boom on a long grape fast and then break it with maybe a, a bunch of fruit and then a couple days later add some vegetables back in there. Goes to show you though why vegetable fasting will plateau you and you won't go very far. Vegetable fasting has really never been. Fasting and vegetables are not synonymous in my opinion. Uh, you can see the difference between people that do that kind of things and those that don't. Big difference. You must dig much deeper into the human body on fruit. And astringents and the magnetics and every there's all the reasons why is in chemistry and magnetics there. So that's that, that's important that you, you break these fasts a little bit and, and, and relax with that. It doesn't matter how often you fast. Everything you do is, is another step forward. So don't beat yourself up. You just keep going. Have fun with it. Make it a fun thing. Some of you I know are pretty sick. But you just keep it and you keep going with it and you just wear the robe. Wear the robe. Wear it. Ride it. And take it on. Uh, don't fight it. Just enjoy it. Change this and enjoy the ride. And it's, 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 it's a lot of fun there.